guys, this is Sonic Faith. I just saw a really disgusting message, not to myself, no, to Anthony Marshall's missus, his wife. Cause I wouldn't look, cause I read the news on the on Facebook, cause I seen it, and I have I saw. And she, by the way, I seen it, I seen it on the news, on the mail of news, I want to see if it's true. I went onto her account on Instagram, seen a story, and I saw death threats telling her that even I uh, get Marshall to leave Manchester, or him, or they going to kill Anthony Marshall, tell something, do not. Sent a death threat just because a player ain't performing well against a team. That's harsh. Not only that, it's disgusting. You all meant to be united, fucking supporters. But why the hell are you sending death threats? It's disgusting. I mean, I lost my fa my father. By a death threat, and he killed himself from it. Obviously, because his wife cheated on him, but she did want to divorce him. It's tiny, tiny kind of death threat. But one thing is this I'm a harm or not? I'm not. I'm a having someone send a death threat to someone misses. That's Fucking sick, come on. Just because that we lost a game against Sheffield United. Just because, like, Marshall and Axel December have been really bad performers against them. Doesn't mean that you could send a death for, to someone else. Just because of that. It's disgusting, come on. Really? Players could actually have some bad performers, they can have bad days. And that's everyone can have. But you don't like that? Oh, busy is fucking up our chance in the league title. Don't forget, we only, we just only a point. A point behind in the league. And that's what you only think about? Is winning the league? Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, and that's mostly important. But for us United fans, yeah, we want the lead back, lead title back at at United. Yeah, but not by the way you send death threats. Do you know how much you did that can actually affect people' livelihoods? Because of that. You not only you send death threats to his missus, now I bet she's afraid living in Manchester because of you all cunts. What the fuck? And they got a kid as well. What the fuck? What next? You gonna be keep doing it until that fucking happen? I gave you a message. And this is a message to Anthony Marshall and this one. Ignore those cunts. They not a true United supporters. They not. They have no rights sending you both death threats. If you both want to stay in Manchester, you can. Don't let anyone tell you what to do that you shouldn't stay live there. And also another thing. Yeah, he's white. He's black. Fucking wrong. Nothing wrong with that. It's after her. Who she's want to be in a relationship with. If she want to be in a relationship with Anthony, she can't. And you can't, can't stop her. I mean it. That's wrong. Saying shit the way that. By the way, I will be showing you the screenshots. Throughout this recording. When I do, you see what I'm on about. Because it's disgusting for all of you Man United for supporters. It's disgusting. It needs to stop. That's why I said yesterday's recording. Stop. 
stop, think, respect. Think about, about that. Respect how people feel. Think before you're saying something to them. Stop what you're doing. Simple, simple thing to do. Carry on doing it. You will get out, you will get banned on social media. Because right now, Man you is going to try to sort a way out to make sure in social media can sort, sort something out with that. Because it's a death threat. It's a racist abuse. You all are fucking disgusting. And I mean it. You all are. I got so much respect with Marshall. All the achievements he had, he had did at United. During his debut, he scored against Liverpool. On his debut match against Liverpool. If you guys remember that and the Louis van Gaal season. Winner, guys. And, that's, and then he scored his first hard trick at United. He has, not only he has won lead, he has won competitions. Don't forget, he won domestic cups. He won the Europa League. What are we going to do without him? That's the thing. What you're doing, you're affecting people's livelihoods. I know I said it's more than once I'm saying again until they get put through your fucking heads. And I mean it. Need to stop. Fucking get in life. I mean it, you all. You need to get in life. Stop what you're doing. This war. Soon later, she will report it to the police. And when that does, the police can actually track your accounts down. Don't forget, they can track your account. Because the only thing they need to know, they need to know your username. And then they find, and they know, they quickly got your location out, and you get arrested for those commas, those messages. Because it's sick. I mean, it, it is. I have sent a message. It's not a death threat. It's not a racist comment. I will show proof what I said, but it's not bad what you all said. Alright? I'm not that. I'm not stepping your levels. No. I said something nice to Anthony Marshall's missus because I'm not sick. I mean, I'm not. I don't send death threats. I don't send racist. Messages. I don't. I friends with black. I friends with white. I friends with gays. I friends with lesbians. I friends with bisexuals. And I friends with pansexuals. I don't care what sexuality they are. They still my friends. And that's a simple message to all. My dad's friends with black and someone is black. I friend with them, he's back. My former fucking manager at my old club, Kelton Neve, he's coloured. I don't care, he's still my manager, he's still my mate. I don't send racist comments or racist messages to people. I'm not that sick like you all. I'm telling you this. Fucking stop. I mean it. I'm not having that. It's sick what I saw. It's fucking ass. Alright guys. Can you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share both my recordings. Make it fucking happening. Until everyone sees it. And everyone get through their fucking head and get through it. Stop. Think. Respect. This is Sonic Freak. See you guys next time.